The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge. Today we have a very special guest, Mr. Vinny. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> to the un. <laughs> There's not a lot to look at. You probably walk past many buildings that look exactly like this setup, but there's a couple of security vulnerabilities that are pretty accessible for someone that does know what to do in these kind of situations. Anyone with a screwdriver can disassemble most of that out there and have access to the wiring. That's a pretty big one. And the aesthetics are what initially caught my eye here. You know, frankly, it looks like someone just kind of dug through their trunk and, oh, you know, whatever connectors I have, let's send it. Let's use that. Yeah, this is bad. How they stacked the one side there. And, you know, that's not a whole lot of room to work with there, but there's definitely a more creative way to do that. Yeah, like, why didn't the, center the reader? Like, come on. <laughs> or maybe the reader is the only one centered with the pillar and the other ones are off center. Uh. You can even see there's like holes right here where yeah. it had the older system. Like, use the existing holes or I don't try to cover it somehow. Oh boy. Yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> That's a word I teach my daughters. We don't just throw around, but that is an <laughs> ugly setup here. And like you said, the vulnerability, if I'm looking at the right side of it here now, I mean, that's two joints right there. You can pop right out with a standard, you know, Phillips or even a flathead screwdriver, a knife, a coin, have access to the wiring in there. You throw a skimmer in there, right? What are the odds this is OSDP or end of the line resisted? Like 0.001% chance. That's like no. Oh, that was wired weekend a long time ago, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of issues there. You know, at least they got the operator button down at a normal height. That's almost centered. I mean, it's tough to tell because everything else is a little off center or crooked, but at least that's not, you know, absurdly high or anything. But from a security breaching standpoint, I mean, having access to all that wiring there on really both of them for an access control system, you're kind of defeating the purpose of it there. I mean, that's probably an eight or nine, I would say. Are um, these two different buildings? Yeah, they're both okay. Sim okay. similar door issue and they were both found on the same morning this was when i was in denver at accelerize each morning whenever i travel just so everyone knows i like to get up a little earlier grab some coffee and like walk around the city a little, get some like sunshine get my body flowing especially if there's time before the actual event starts but yes obviously if you're walking around downtown anywhere you're gonna find a door fell in some way or another so just go outside and walk around and you'll find some <laughs> The aesthetics alone of this, you know, really are cringeworthy to look at here because as an installer, I mean, there's so many times where we go to, you know, an older building, an older brick building or something and, you know, they know exactly where they want something and, you know, you walk through it first, like, oh, that's impossible. You know, you're going to have to use conduit for that. But then you actually, you know, start looking above ceilings, behind walls and everything. And you realize there's usually a route to get the wire there and stuff. I'm sure this was preventable if they took the time to do it right. And frankly, if I came out as the client, I would not be handing anyone a check for this. One signed off on this, right? Someone said that is okay when it's not okay. I'm with you. Aesthetically, going back to your customer's experience, these are both were like apartment mixed use buildings. Mm. You've got people using this credential every day and that's leading to their experience and if you start your day with this like you automatically gonna have a bad day right like you might not be thinking about it but subconsciously that is affecting you oh absolutely it affects us because we know better right like we twitch when we see this kind of stuff even the normal non-door hardware nerd person they're affected by this and they don't even realize it it's just you know for me if i'm watching the football game and i'm like oh my gosh i forgot to cut a tie wrap at that last job <laughs> like, I'll, I'll physically i'll lose sleep over forgetting something like that if something's not you know aesthetically like the best i could do with it on the right hand side is like everything off center because like yeah. the big box looks off center the hid reader in it looks off center the, like look at the mortar line and then the conduit looks like the, it's saggy it definitely eyeballed that one they did not get their level out for that one they're like ah it looks okay if you hold your head like this i don't see anything actually unless it's around the corner i don't see anything actually securing any of that to the wall i don't see a strap unless they put one in the lb there probably a sheetrock screw somehow there could be some kind of tie down maybe right there is that what you were talking about? Yeah, around the corner, there could be something, but I mean, I don't see anything even really holding that there. I always picture a kid walking by and pulling on something. That's, you know, the right height for it there too. I just, it doesn't seem very secure. I mean, it looks like someone has already pulled on it. I'm going to give them some credit. I'm hoping they would have tried to level it 
first judging by what they use i doubt it but if they did you know you could tell it's either just come down with time or someone pulling on it yeah yeah and then the one on the left here i can't tell what that is there i mean it's two different connectors or if that's just bare wire going across to it after i, I really can't tell yeah, what that is that, that part looks bare that is exposed wire like oh. literally there's the red wire there's the yellow wire there's white and black right in there hmm, i wonder what you could do with that yeah that's a nine for me it's not like those wires communicate everything back to your axis control panel and like no but it's still visible i mean someone who wants to just be a punk can walk by and snip it i mean there's a very easy <laughs> solutions for this when you initially install it yeah. i mean think about it someone does that you know seven o'clock at night you know maintenance maybe they're on call you know maybe they're not back till the morning you got all these people who can't use the system to get in and that's a huge pain a huge vulnerability too i mean on the other side there too having everything you know easily accessible like you said i would bet money that it's probably weakened so you're giving this a nine yeah i thought this was the same building at first to be honest i didn't know if maybe we had like a front door back door type thing Two different doors but like yeah. similar idea like easily accessible wire aesthetically it's not great it's almost like they were trying to be creative it's an art installation See, I, I put a lot of weight on the aesthetics of it because someone walks by and sees that and they assume that that's, you know, how we all do it. It, it really takes away from the value of investing in security and access control and cameras. Anything that devalues the industry as a whole is, uh, you know, doesn't help any of us. Yeah. I mean, there's one thing that not a lot of people understand. And I think we've talked about it in a couple previous episodes, but there's these skimmers that you can get. You can get like 20 of them for 40 bucks off that's of Amazon. Insane. That if you're able to splice that into that, wire which there's people that can do it very quickly you can watch youtube on how to do it that's scary right you are literally getting these people's information like it could be a, the most secure credential in the world and you're still getting their read then yep. you can make a credential or create a credential off of that not only do you have access to the building you have access to that person's house if there's access control on their apartment complex right it could be from a security vulnerability if someone was like trying to stalk someone and they're able to get that kind of information that makes me um, a little nervous. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I didn't realize they were that it. cheap. Yes. And for, so, you know, if, if you see this, no, I am all about <laughs> There is a vulnerability. People got to know about it because the bad guys are already going to know about it. If we're just now talking about it, there is pages and pages on Reddit or on like the dark web or something like that where people understand the vulnerabilities here. We're always reactive and we shouldn't be. We should be proactive. But just so you know, if your apartment building is set up like this, maybe talk with your property manager. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't realize those skimmers were that cheap. I'm not at all surprised at that or that there's tutorials on it. Also, this is... I think the third vulnerability I've heard you bring up here, you had the one on the exterior maglocks with the can of duster. And you also, I believe you had one on the uh, the hotel room uh, lock as well. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm all about spreading the information. I get a lot of crap for that. Like people yeah. comment on my posts saying like, why are you showing this to people? You're just teaching people how to do it. The people already know how to do it. If we're talking about it on link, there's already- It's too late. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If more people knew about it, I mean, maybe this installer would have been more careful about keeping the wiring you know hidden not even having the conduit out there and you know to begin with but if he did you know having it you know secured and not having wires hanging out on the left side there it's possible he didn't know more likely he may not have cared or you know some kind of hybrid of both but no i agree that vulnerabilities should definitely be made aware to prevent stuff like this yeah i mean both of these potentially could have some kind of smart credential on there some very secure like cios or desfire or my fair desfire but it doesn't matter if your wiring isn't secure like they can right. get that information Something tells me if this is what they've invested in for the access control installation, they probably have not invested in a smart credential. Yeah, you're probably right. This is probably just Prox and Mia, what do you think? Yeah, it's a nine. It should be a 10. It's critical. It's just vulnerable. That's it. Life safety. We don't know enough about the opening to judge that. There's zero on the life safety. But yeah, the security vulnerabilities fix them now. I'm with you. Maybe if life safety was involved in some aspect or another, it'd be a 10. But I, I'm thinking eight or nine, but nine probably because the aesthetics as well. Like <laughs> if it was just the exposed wire or the easily accessible wire, that's big. But the fact that you didn't level anything, have some pride in have your some work. respect. We joke about trunk slammers all the time. And that's all I could think of looking at this is that, you know, got it up quick and threw the tools in the trunk and sped off. I think this even has like the price tag from where they bought it at Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a picture to submit, you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.